my god it smells so good <laughs> hi everyone i'm back with another perfume review on a single perfume and i did artsy another review of artsy from the house of kimberly new york and this other one's called art color love <laughs> this is so good it's so good so again, I discovered Kimberly, New York, because I put out a request for people to let me know about some people of color that are perfumers, own a perfume house, so I could go out there and explore them and support them. And Kimberly, New York was one of the ones on my list, along with Chris Collins. Holy shiz, you guys need to check out Chris Collins. <laughs> I got a bottle of that coming too. Should be here today, actually. Anyway, um, but this one, Kimberly, New York, Art Color Love. This one. This is a watermelon Jolly Rancher. <laughs> If, 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 if watermelon was a fruit juice, if they had watermelon fruit juice, like they have apple juice, orange juice, I bet it would smell like this. But the closest thing to me is a watermelon life, or a watermelon Jolly Rancher. It's, oh. oh. It's so good. It's playful. Artsy is makes, I call it my giggle juice because it makes me giggle every time I wear it. This one is just playful. Again, it makes me feel youthful. It makes me feel a little nostalgic because I used to eat the shit ski out of uh, Jolly Ranchers all the time. Green apple and watermelon, those were my favorites. Everybody could have the rest of them, but I always picked those ones out of the bag. <laughs> oh! So it's, uh, 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 what is it? So it's watermelon, chilled ginger, mint tea, and sandalwood. And the watermelon with the ginger and the mint tea is an incredible combination. And I think the ginger and the mint tea keep it from going too candied. Too, it keeps it from going into Bath and Body Works or something like that territory. It definitely keeps it into the, the classy perfume, even though it's fun and playful, it's still very classy. I have a feeling this one is gonna be a compliment getter because it's, it's candied watermelon with that ginger and tea. And it doesn't, none of the Kimberly New York perfumes have a big trajectory as far as their dry down goes. It's just a little, a little bump. Both of them have that base of sandalwood and you do get that, in, and it dries it up quite a bit too. My favorite part though is the top and the mid before the sandalwood really kicks in, but there's nothing wrong with the sandalwood. I just really like that juicy, candied, um, playful kind of stages. Oh, but yet there is a sophistication to it. There's there's a hint of something else in there. I know that, I guess it, it must be the chilled ginger, but it goes very candied at first. But that ginger, it, it really mingles with the watermelon and, and matures it up a little bit, not a lot. It's still very happy-go-lucky. But it brings it in a little bit to where, unlike Artsy, this is one I think you could wear to work, even formal um, work occasions, because the frivolity of it really um, goes away after about half an hour. It stays watermelon, candy, Jolly Rancher, but those other notes really kind of come in and settle it down a little bit. Oh. oh. Oh my God, it smells so good. <laughs> and there's a greenness to this too. It's, it's like, <clears throat> it's not just the watermelon, a, a candied watermelon meat. It's also like 
the rind has been candied too because there's a hint, just a hint of tart in there like you get with the rind of a watermelon. Oh my God. Uh, so anybody could wear this. I think a guy could pull this off too because of the sandalwood and the ginger and the tea. I, I think at first it's at its most playful. But it, I know I make it sound like it just would be a, a girly, youthful kind of a perfume, but that's all in the mind. I mean, when I wear leather um, perfumes or heavy oud perfumes, I don't feel masculine. I may feel powerful, but I don't feel masculine. I think a guy, the same thing. If you wore more lighthearted perfumes instead of all the intense ones or all the pineapple Aventus clones out there, um, <clears throat> I think once guys start doing that, it's going to become the norm and people will just wear whatever the hell they want to instead of worrying about if it's male or female or masculine or feminine or anything in between. <sighs> Where are the juice that makes you happy? That's my opinion anyway. Why am I talking like this again? I don't know. I saw Deliverance last night, so I tend to talk very, very twangy <laughs> after watching a movie like that. Crazy. I don't know why I watch it. It disturbs me every time. Anyway, all right. Well, <clears throat> performance on this is about like artsy. It's about four to six hours. Um, before it starts really coming close. It's about four hours before it starts really coming close. And then it's pretty much gone by five, hour five or six. But again, these are under $100. Um, you get three and a half ounces or 3.4 ounces of this Eau de Parfum. And I love the bottles. The bottles look to be all the same, that frosted glass with the little window that goes all the way through. Kimberly, New York, got it going on, and she's been around since like 2015 or something. I don't know why the hell I'm just hearing about it. You know, I think it's like perfume reviewers on YouTube. There's so many out there now that, like when I did that, show me your spritz tag. I was introduced to this huge world of perfume reviewers I had never met, never looked at a video of theirs, never heard of. And I am so glad I did that tag because now, now, you know, it's like a plain telephone. Well, not exactly, but you know, once you reach out and, and know a few of these YouTube reviewers, they start introducing you to more YouTube reviewers. So now it's like my subscription list is crazy long because I have subscribed to so many really good perfume reviewers, whether that's ones that have lots of subscribers or some that have under a hundred and they're still really good. So anyway, I'm starting to sweat. It's getting hot in here. So I got to go. <laughs> I got to turn the AC back on, man. I got the fan on, bang doing it for me. Having a hot flash. All right. Well, anyway, good stuff. Check out Kimberly, New York. I'll put a link below. Don't forget to like and subscribe and ding, ding the bell if you want to. You know, I always say that, always disclaimer, if you want to. I am not going to be the one to tell you what to do. So thanks, everybody. Use your own nose. Please.